Hello Taurus and welcome to my channel Tarot by Gabrielle. This is going to be a general reading for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs looking at your connection to the person that you are dealing with and needing to learn the most from right now. We are looking at all three sides of the connection. We've got your energy toward it, their energy toward it, and the energy in between it. The concept being that there are three sides to every story. So we're looking at your version of the truth, their version of the truth, and this higher level unbiased truth in the middle, looking at what is the deeper purpose of this connection and what is the best way for you to move forward in order to align further with your higher self. As I do in all of my readings, I've pulled the overall energy for the reading and clarified those messages, which we'll jump into in just a second. But I do have a different tarot deck we'll be using for each side of this connection as well as, well as the advice deck I'll be pulling from in the extended. Any information on the extended reading or on booking a personal reading with me is in the description box below. Last thing, please remember that these are general readings. They are not here to resonate fully for everyone and they won't resonate fully for everyone. So do please remember to take what does or resonate and helps your personal situation and leave what does not. On that note, these energies can be swapped so the whole reading can be reversed. If that's the case for you, that's totally fine and totally normal. Again, the point is to take what resonates for you and just leave the rest. All right. On your side of this connection, Taurus, you have, and this is your energy toward this person. You have you moved on with the Five of Cups in reverse. Now, I see this in a couple of ways. I feel, I do very much feel as if this is a connection from your past, but I also feel like this person, I don't know if they're still very much in your energy, like if you catch yourself thinking about them a lot or... Um, even if you don't want to anymore, even if you do, I just, I feel as if you've kind of been working through a lot of sadness and association with this connection. And um, maybe you feel as if the other person isn't working through as much, or maybe you feel as if you kind of got the worst of it. I'm not quite as sure yet, but I do know for sure this person has seven of swords with someone has unmet needs. I do very much feel as if this person isn't and hasn't been. Um, very honest with you. I feel as if they're they're holding things back from you, holding, I don't know if it's truths, I don't know if it's feelings, I don't, I don't know necessarily what this is, but I feel as if that is where the root of your needs being unmet in this connection stems from, is this Seven of Swords, them holding back how it is that they really feel, what it is that they really... Um, yeah, I don't know what the, I don't know. I don't know what the Seven of Swords is yet. We'll have to see as we pull tarot. Um, but the overall theme for the reading is boundaries. So this is definitely kind of this. It just kind of feels like this warning of keep your your guard up a little bit with this person, um, especially if they're not being fully transparent. But then in between this connection, you have karmic with the lovers. So soulmate energy and karmic energy here. I do very much feel as if this is. This could be a karmic soulmate. This could be a soulmate connection with a karmic lesson associated, um, which is keeping you know two people from being able to come together in a healthy way. There, there could be many different meanings to that, and I feel like it's going to depend on the rest of the reading. So I'm going to jump in. If you moved on with the Five of Cups in reverse, this is for Taurus's side of this connection. Taurus's side of this connection. Taurus's side of the connection. Oh, Emperor in reverse. Eight of Cups, Hangman in reverse, Three of Swords. Oof, okay. Someone walked away in this. I had, and to be honest, I don't know if it was you or them. But I feel as if what whoever it was that walked away, it's been very painful. Like with the Three of Swords, just straight up. It's been very painful. And it's been really difficult for you to let go of that pain. I'm kind of getting this feeling that it's like it's, it's either maybe taking you longer to heal from this than you thought or 
something like that. Like, this is affecting you deeper than a connection ever really has. Like, it's, it's taking you a while to really let go of the pain associated with this connection. Because you have you moved on, right? But this person is obviously still showing up in your energy. So there's something associated with this connection that's important. Because again, it could be, you know, you're still struggling. You're still kind of holding on to the pain associated with this connection. But you look at this person and it looks as if they've moved on. I don't know. I don't know exactly what it is. But I know that you're, you're having a hard time letting go of the pain associated with this. And I feel as if it's, it's blocking your ability to attract new love, healthy love. Or it, it, a new cycle with this person, you know, however that resonates for you. See, now you have the Eight of Cups in reverse. Oh no, that's not, okay, is it, yeah. It is still the Eight of Cups, the Knight of Swords in reverse. So for a long time, and maybe there's still an energy of this, not for all of you though, but for a long time there was a lot of chasing, chasing and running going on in this connection. I feel Taurus as if you were kind of chasing this person in some way, shape, or form, meaning chasing commitment, chasing honesty, chasing vulnerability, chasing attention. Um, and it feels as if you were always kind of working for what it is you felt you deserved, but you never ever really see, received what it is that you deserved. Because at the end of the day with the Five of Pentacles, there's kind of this energy of feeling a deep loss associated with this connection. Now, for some of you, the vibe that I'm getting is it's not even a deep loss of just the connection. It's almost like this loss of feeling like you've wasted time or energy on someone um, or you like on this connection or you feel like, yeah, like since you wasted time, you're never going to receive the love that you deserve. That's not true. I get why you feel that way. But it, for, for some of you, it's important for you to hear that that's not true. Like you haven't, you're not behind. You haven't lost your opportunity to receive the love that you deserve. Something like that. But I do feel like there was a lot of, of giving and, and not a whole lot of getting back what it is that you um, were trying to receive from that place of giving. Not that I'm saying like you were loving and being there for this person out of the expectation of getting anything back. But I mean, in a healthy relationship, there is going to be reciprocation. And I don't really know if that existed here. I, and maybe they tried. I don't, I just, the Seven of Swords is sketchy to me. This lack of honesty is sketchy. Taurus is side of the connection. And maybe there's anger here, resentment, and that's why it's been so difficult for you to let go. Even if, like, and again, I get this, like, even if you want to. Death. Oh, that's kind of a good. Okay, this is kind of an intense message. So before I, I kind of want to clarify it really quick. The death and the magician. Oh, I get. Yeah, no, there's the Ten of Swords. And the Ten of Swords actually came out. Might also honestly be on the bottom of the deck still. Let me see. Come on. Oh, no, it's the Seven of Swords. I was going to say, I saw the ten, the ten of Swords came out with this Lovers. So, yeah, it's uh, this is what I was going to say. This, uh, I don't know if it was betrayal. I don't know what took place here. But a part of you died. A part of you died through this connection, um, through the pain associated and the way that this affected you. Now, I can sound really sad and hopeless, but oftentimes 
some of the you know the hardest things we go through kill off the parts of us that um, you know open us up to to growth that elevates our life in a way that we never would be able to experience if we hadn't gone through what we did. Now I'm not sitting here saying this connection is a blessing in disguise and you're so lucky that this happened. No, that's not what I'm saying. It's obvious that this was very painful. Um, but I don't want you to think that, I don't know, that, like that you've lost it all or you've lost your ability to be loved or or something of that nature because I do very much, I get that it was very painful. I, I can feel the heaviness associated with that. But I feel like this is just this need to... I don't know, see the bigger picture doesn't even cut it because, you know, karmic aspects of any connection, whether it's a karmic connection or there's a karmic cycle that exists within the connection, those, those are painful cycles. But they're also the biggest teachers that we have in this life. And and when we're willing to kind of approach from that perspective, it can it can help us immensely. But... All right, I'm gonna. I'm still gonna pull three more over here, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip flop back and forth and doing something a little different this week. This person's energy toward Taurus. Someone has unmet needs with the Seven of Swords. hasn't done a whole lot of healing since the ending of this because there's the death this person hasn't done a whole lot of healing or even like self-reflection but there's a reason for that this somehow relates to that seven of swords There's a three of wands in reverse. It could be like waiting for things to change, waiting for things to happen, but not making any moves to make it happen. Um, like staying in comfort zone. It's this person's comfort zone to not heal, which I guess you could kind of say that's, that's most people's comfort zone, right? Very few people are actually taught um, how to heal throughout their life. But... This, this relates to the Seven of Swords in some way. Because it's obvious, especially seeing it on the bottom of this deck for in between the connection, there's definitely some, almost like, like not even just deception, but things that you, I don't know, might not be aware of that would make you feel better. Like that's, okay, let me get more this person's energy so it doesn't feel as if they they really have any intention of changing the fool with the high priestess in reverse see that's the thing they want a new beginning i honestly feel like with this connection Or with the connection of the like, right? Like, never mind, I'll find someone like you kind of energy if, if you were the one who walked away. But the thing is, they want this new beginning, but they're not making any changes to make that happen. You know, one of the hardest things for me, this is something that I've learned to um understand is not my responsibility over time, but was when, is when I watch people that I love and care about repeat cycles, right? Whether it's in their relationships, in their personal life, whatever the case might be. And they never make any changes. You know, they kind of get in the same relationship with a similar type of person who ends up hurting them. Once that is over, they get into another relationship with someone who's almost exactly the same, who treats them almost exactly the same, they get hurt now. It, it, it's, it's, nothing ever changes, right? Because there's no real healing done. 
And I feel like that's kind of what this person is, is dealing with. It's like they want things to be different, but they never really make the changes to make it different. And, and how that applies to this connection, because I don't feel like they just totally didn't care about you or don't care about you. I feel as if they're struggling in their own personal world, which is obviously going to directly affect the connection. This person's energy. So Taurus. Ah. So this person could be struggling with like addiction or mental health issues or just bad habits and dinner. They're struggling with a devil of some sort. And that's what keeps them from being able to be successful in their relationships and in particular this relationship. And I feel as if you were very willing in this connection to maybe help them with this devil. Uh, especially if you were dealing with someone who did struggle with addiction. But it feels like all it kind of did in the end was come back to bite you. Because, yeah, there's this energy of pushing you away. Pushing the connection away. Even though you were just trying to help them. And maybe that's where, you know, when you're dealing with someone with addiction or shame, like habits that they're ashamed of, there's not going to be a whole lot of honesty there because they're going to do what they can to hide those parts of themselves that they're not even willing to face, right? So they certainly don't want to show them to others. Because, yes, I see the Seven of Swords, you know, as, as hiding information from you, but I don't actually feel as if this is, like, deception, like bad intentioned deception it, it could be for some of you again these are general readings which is based on the majority of the collective that I feel I'm reading for I don't gather this seven of swords as like yeah bad intentions I feel like it's it's coming from a place of like shame or yeah shame, that's a good way to put it because again I don't I don't know I just doesn't feel like they necessarily have poor intentions now it doesn't feel, it feels like because of this devil, they were unable or are unable to meet your needs in this connection. But let's get more for you. This Taurus is side of the connection. There you are. So you had expectations. You saw this person's potential. And you could be dealing, oh yeah, you could be dealing with a fire sign, king of wands, because they're, oh, the devil, and then I see the hangman. The devil is right, right there. This is their devil. But that's not really part of this message. I just feel like that's kind of more alluding to what we just talked about. You could be dealing, you don't, don't have to be dealing with fire sign by any means. Um... Because, yeah, with the Queen of Pentacles here, this is definitely, I feel, your energy, Taurus. Whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter. You had certain expectations with the Ten of Cups in reverse because you, you, you saw this person's potential and it feels like they consistently let you down. Now, the hard part about that is not only were they letting you down, but they were also letting, they, they have been letting themselves down in this process. And I feel like oftentimes when people struggle, and not just with addiction, right, but with any form of self-sabotaging habits, it can be really hard to let them struggle and understand that it's not our responsibility to fix or heal anybody. But when you love and care about someone, obviously you want to help them, right? You want to help them be happier and healthier and the best version of themselves, not just because you know that that could... Um, you know, benefit the relationship, but because, you know, it could benefit them too. And so I do feel like you had a lot of unconditional love for this person. And I feel like that was probably the biggest, the hard, the most 
difficult aspect of this connection is I feel as if their flaws, we all, I mean, we all have flaws, but I just, I feel as if their flaws and the way that they kind of handled things and, and treated you in the process, it almost feels like you turned a blind eye um, for a long time. And I feel like that's why this has been so painful for you and why it's been so difficult to let go of the pain is because in your mind, you're like, I love them unconditionally. How could they hurt me like this? Or how could they betray me? Or how could they do this? But I feel like it's this person's own personal battle that's the culprit. I don't think that it has anything to do with how they really do feel about you. Taurus's side of the connection. Sun in reverse, eight of swords. What I want to talk about, Taurus. Well, actually, hang on. I want a little bit more on this. The six of cups and the six of pentacles in reverse. Okay, I knew that. I didn't need, I didn't need to get more on that. Okay. So what I want to talk about, Taurus, is, is this lack of reciprocation that has made itself so abundantly clear in this connection. And this you giving so much of your energy, love, mind, body, spirit to this person and accepting very little back. Now, obviously, you saw potential, right? There was this idea of, oh, if they could kick this devil or if they could, you know, if they were one way or if they could just open up or if they could just blah 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 then they could um you know be what it is that i desire and, and they could reciprocate and things could be good like obviously you weren't just investing in this for um for no reason but i do very much feel like the underlying lesson here is we have to realize that at, at the core of what we experience in our life we accept what we think we deserve. We accept what we think is as good as it can get for us. And now I'm not sitting here saying this person didn't deserve love, doesn't deserve love, kindness, empathy, all of that, right? Absolutely, they do. Everybody does. But the issues start to arise in our relationships and just kind of in humanity in general. When we take on the responsibility of other people's needs to the extent that we then neglect our own because first of all you cannot sustain somebody else's needs for the long term it's not it just it cannot happen at some point somebody else has to be willing to to you know take care of themselves and do the work for themselves and if this person isn't really doing a whole lot of healing and and self-reflection and things like that then they're not doing the work right and therefore the um more the more the burden is kind of going to fall on you but I feel as if there's this lack of reciprocation that you experienced in this connection that mirrors what you're used to in relationships of this sort. And there's a need to take a look at that because I feel as if that is the core of the karmic lesson associated with this connection. Because this connection is obviously very important for you on your journey, just based on what I'm seeing here. I mean, dang, Taurus. King of Cups in reverse, Knight of Wands in reverse. I mean, this King of Cups in reverse energy can be gaslighting manipulation um i'm not saying it doesn't it doesn't have to go to the extreme of emotional abuse if that sounds a little intense for the situation that you're in but i don't know i just i feel as if i don't want to say this person led you on necessarily because again i don't feel they had bad intentions but i do feel as if they led you to believe they were someone different than they are um like almost like they put and that's that's kind of this vibe that I was getting with the seven of swords like put on this mask for the connection and for you and 
And I feel like when that mask came off, you were like, what the hell is going on? Uh, because you had believed them to be one way and loved them unconditionally um, for that, that, that way that they presented themselves. But then that mask came off. And I'm not saying you stopped loving them unconditionally, but I think there was kind of this, you know, it's hard when someone changes on us to not take it personally and we start to think like oh it has to do with me right this person is acting this way or treating me this way because um it's me i deserve it or whatever the case is that we start to kind of believe but in reality i feel like the per this person changed because their kind of true core true colors came out their devil came out their unhealed shadow came out and it, it was very triggering for you for sure, but I don't feel as if it ha actually, um, I just, I don't feel as if it were, I don't feel as if it were personal. Obviously it feels personal because personal relationships are personal, but I don't know. I just feel like it, this would happen to anybody in your shoes in this connection. It doesn't have anything to do with you in particular, but let's get more. Let's see more for their side of this because I do feel as if I don't know there's just there's a lot going on here this person's energy toward Taurus and, it, and it's definitely boundaries and this there's this warning that you need to um, pay closer attention to your boundaries with this person and people of similar vibe vibration um, because otherwise this cycle could repeat and I feel like that's why this is still showing up in your energy is learning what you need to learn so that you basically make sure it never happens again. This person's energy toward Taurus. Being, you know, being willing to open up to love, knowing that you are um, protected. The Emperor in reverse or the Sun in reverse. Um, this person has a tendency to act very much from ego. You know, ego has kind of become, it's been very demonized. The concept of acting from ego. Oh, that person's so egotistical. They're basically a narcissist, right? Like, that's not what I'm saying. This person could be a narcissist. I'm not saying they're not. Um, I'm not here to diagnose anyone, though. What I am here to do is give a little bit of insight into how this person is, uh, how this person's energy is towards you so that you can heal, so you can focus more on your healing, right? Instead of trying to understand where, what they're coming from, what they're doing, what it all means. But I feel like with the Ember in reverse and the Sun in reverse, this person's primary goal is to not have to face the parts of themselves that they're ashamed of. Um, and I feel as if that is ultimately what created the biggest issues in this connection, is this person hiding almost from the connection wanting it, wanting it to work, wanting to open themselves up from, to it, but yet hiding from it at the same time because there's this energy of kind of control, um, trying to maintain control of the connection of you regardless of what that meant, which probably is where a lot of the deception, the mask, um, kind of that, those things started to come out. Eight of Pentacles in reverse with the Knight of Cups. Huh. Oh. Now I'm kind of getting together what th what's happening here. So these two energies, the way that you impact you triggered them, and the way that they triggered you is where the karmic cycle kind of a lot kind of lies right typically the case but i feel as if that's maybe they hid from you more than they typically hide from others because it feels as if i don't want to say this connection brought out shame in them but that's kind of what i'm gathering like it's almost like 
the way that you appeared in this connection made this person feel bad about themselves. Not that you did anything wrong or you appeared in like a critical or negative way at all. That's not what I'm saying. It's almost as if like showing unconditional love to someone who doesn't think that they deserve it is going to make them feel bad about themselves, right? There's kind of going to be that energy of like, you don't, you don't know what I'm really capable of, right? Kind of like that broody um, kind of energy. And I'm not saying this person is like that, but I do very much feel as if for some reason your energy very much triggered them, which is why I feel they kind of, uh, they withdrew almost. They hid from you. They put on this mask because they didn't feel good enough for this connection as for who they really are. And it's because they felt ashamed, not because you made them feel ashamed, right? It's two very different things. Yeah, because they're hurting from this too. Interesting that the first and last card is a Three of Swords. Um, they're still hurting. The difference is, Taurus, I'm going to be honest, I feel like you're actually kind of healing, facing it, right? Um, but this this Three of Swords, I mean, this is this talks karmic cycle here. So I think that that's the biggest thing that this reading is trying to bring to the surface is there's... There is like this cycle of maybe attracting people that need to be fixed or attracting people that have these kinds of issues or attracting people that make you feel the way that this person made you feel. And there's, you know, bringing to the surface kind of where that stems from. Because I kind of, I talked about it with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. There is obviously kind of a, uh, uh, you're used to receiving way less than what you give in connections of this sort. And there's a need to kind of get to the bottom of, you know, why do I accept less than what I deserve? Why do I feel obligated to help people at the expense of myself? Um, kind of asking those deeper questions because that can close out this cycle. Because when you close out a karmic cycle, you stop attracting the wrong people. But if you don't fully close out the cycle by learning the lesson associated, you're going to continue to attract the same lesson, whether it's in the form of the same person or different people moving forward. So that's why... Um, a lot of times in these readings, I do have a tendency to kind of pull past connections because I feel as if our past connections can teach us the most about what we need to know moving forward. Um, and and it, like I said in the beginning, it seems as if this cycle is actually blocking you from attracting the love that you're truly deserving of. And I feel as if that is why this is coming through the way that it is. But we're going to hop on over to the extended. I'm going to pull nine different messages looking at what is the deeper purpose of this connection and what is the best way for you to move forward in order to align with your higher self. Thank you so much, Taurus, as always, for your support of my channel. I obviously hope that this reading helped and resonated with you in a way that you were needing today. And as always, Taurus, I wish you nothing but love and healing on your journey moving forward. Right, bye, Taurus.